careful about sliding. Good afternoon, everybody. We are back on a bike. It's only been a day since the last ride. Uh, man, so that's awesome. We are at the TVA Dam in Gunnersville. And this is the Honeycomb Trail. It's a, I think it's an eight mile trail. So it goes across this small wildlife preserve over here and uh, not a whole lot of people probably even know that this bad boy exists I've hiked it before never mountain biked it so I'm curious to see how we do today so but like I said it's eight miles out and back sorry eight miles out another eight mile out back so if you did this thing in completion like that, it'd be 16 miles. So we'll see how much of it we do. And it's already getting up real quick. But yeah, like I said, rode yesterday out at the arsenal and it was 30 something degrees yesterday morning, five something in the morning. I was wearing three layers today. Sunday afternoon haven't been afternoon riding in a while it's 63 so we're, we went from three layers down to shorts and a t-shirt so thankful for this ride a reprieve from the cold I'm looking forward to doing something new so hope your winter is going well and you enjoy those moments of reprieve from the, the rain and the cold. So stay tuned to the ride. We're in for, should be a very scenic ride. Because this ride goes along the Tennessee River the entire time. And we'll get better views of it as we go. We get onto a short section of some flow. Go back uphill in a second. One of the reasons I came out here is because it rained last night and the local trails in Huntsville just don't hold that well with the rain. Stay off of them. So this one's not regularly maintained and it seems to be draining well. And I just wanted to come see it ride it this is a great time of year to come do it when the leaves are down you can see the river that's a good lucky loop trail too if you like scenery creek crossing Woo. that washed out Wow! <laughs> the leaves had a sliding right there. So we got a nice little flowy leafy section going up. Gotta be careful about sliding out. Wow! Ooh, tight switch back. Tight.
Wow. Man, what a beautiful spot. Don't come out here. I don't want anybody to find out about it. I love it. Man, what a gorgeous trail. Still riding alone. This flat section. I should have gone to the left on that one. Looks like we're in. I was about to say we got to go uphill, but we're not. Just a reminder. We're on hunting property technically too. So if you come out here, keep that in mind. You know, wear stuff that like, people can identify you as a person versus a, a deer. I've got my hunter horns backpack on. Thank you, Dad, for that Christmas present. Crossing a bridge. I think I've seen a picture of this bridge. Basically going over a swampy inlet. Got another bridge. Beautiful. Cool, man. I'm just taking my time going over that just to look over everything. There's a tree stand right there. I don't know if anybody's up there. Some spots where the, the uh, greenery, well, I say greenery. This plant life is growing up, no problem. Got a month to go do this and I'm probably a little bit thinned out. All right, we are now hitting the hike of bike section. But it's short, I think. And then we'll be back up here. Finally, getting back to the hills. As I was looking ahead, I saw that massive tree. Look at that thing. Its branches are extend out everywhere because I'm super high. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. This is Hard left. Woo! And then back uphill. Wow! The pocket of fun. I'm making it happen. I think we're about five miles or something. Once we hit that four mile mark, it has been quick fun. For sure. That's what I'm calling the pocket of fun. It's that four mile mark. It's just been a good speed section. Easy climbs. I love it. One of the most beautiful trails I've ever ridden. Just the scenery, the fun, the calmness, the stillness. This, is, this has been incredible. I can't say that enough. It's been nice descents, followed by short little punchy climbs. I'm a water fan, doesn't matter what it looks like. Should have gone left, that's a good spot. Here we go. This right here, it's all about what you make of it, too. How fast you want to go. Beautiful little creek crossing here. Make sure I'm not coming into it too hot. 
Oh, and make sure we don't face point. That's good either. The sun. That's not something I've seen a lot when out riding this last couple months. Probably a lot of you are wondering, like, does the sun ever come out in Alabama? And it does. Oof. The hill's kind of washing out. Ooh, gotta be careful. It's just really loose. Oh, that sent me airborne. And the bike, not so much. Woo! That's a tight switch back. Yeah. Continuing on. That was the best downhill of the ride. Ooh, right, right there. Whoa! How about let the bike get a, let the bike get away from me? I love these varying rides from you know, being up in the hills and then down in the towards the, the river, lower elevation. It's a nice change of pace. Oh, look at that. Oh, chunky section coming up. Let's see if we can make it through here. There's a sinkhole over there. Looks like. Ooh. A little bit of a burn going here. Come on. Ah, oh, I slid on that rock. Ooh. Can't see that coming. I snuck up a little bit quick. Just a second on the Bye, Colleen. Oh! Here's some speed through here. Levels out again. Right next to the RV or the campground, the honeycomb campground, we're gonna come out there. That's where the trail ends, it has a trailhead there. And uh, can smell, somebody's got a fire going. And uh, man, we're coming to the end of this trail. So like I said, this is a out and back trail. And you can make a full day out of this and ride it back. And it would be somewhere around 16 miles, maybe a little more. But for the sake of purposes today, we're gonna ride the road, which I'm not sure I'm gonna recommend that to anybody yet. So this could be the downside of this trail. Gotta go out on Highway 431. And there should be, I've scouted it out before. There should be some room on the side of the highway for me to get out there and ride and feel okay. All right, we're in the home stretch. Up to come out on the other side of this trailhead. Wow. Good 
slow to end it. Let's see. Yeah. The trail. Interesting. The trail head over here is the worst I've seen. The trail. Yeah, not bad. I just couldn't figure out where I was going. Alright. And here we are. At the end. The honey honeycomb campground. A little bit further south on 431. I was saying we're a little bit further south from where we started on 431. We're going to make our way up the highway. Get us back to the car. Locked out the suspension for the road ride. Should be a couple miles of pedaling. Can't remember exactly. Looking forward to being back at the truck. Alright, so we finished out the ride road ride. Uh, man, awesome place. Many times when my kids come out here, we hike, we ride bikes in the, the parking lot. I've never mountain bike on the trail. Awesome trail, about eight miles, one way, and you can come back. Uh, but uh, this time I rode back on 431, and that's about six miles, not so bad. It's a little bit jelly on it. But I wanted to come walk over here by the, the dam itself. Uh, it comes out over on that side, but man, it's just beautiful out here. Windy today, awesome day. If you haven't been able to come.